Hello everybody, and I'm going to just show a quick little helicopter animation I did in Blender. I already rendered the animation, so it's on YouTube already. I think I'll cross-link it once I get this video up, and I'll just show you how I did it. I already got it on a recent project, so go to Blender 2.69 and click down on the reset, in my case. And here it is, it's a helicopter mesh I actually made in Wings 3D, so go to object mode. And nothing too fancy, it's just a helicopter, the plane that flies off in the scene, basically. It's not too much of a rig, but it's kind of copying how I did the throttle on my airplane rig, which I believe I showed in another video of mine. Maybe I should cross link that one too. But well, basically it is just a helicopter where I have a little throttle controller, which is an empty object, that spins the main rotor, and then the driver for the tail rotor references the main rotor. So for every time the main rotor turns, this tail rotor turns twice. I believe that is actually the gearing ratio of the helicopter. And I try to do something like 250 frames. Uh, 250 revolutions per minute at 30 frames per second. I believe that's it's a little bit of calculations involved, but it's nothing too fancy. It's pretty simple as far as animations go, but it gives you an idea. And I'm just going to hit play. And is it working? <laughs> oh, you know what? It's not working because... All around disabled. Gotta go back to the top of the screen here. And reload trusted. Alright. Gotta turn on your scripts to make sure they work. So, now that we have the scripts turned on, we can see how the drivers work. So I have this empty. It controls the throttle for the main rotor. And then the tail rotor is controlled by the main rotor. All that is done with drivers. Like I said, there's an, an airplane I did with the Solar method. It's in another video of mine, so feel free to look around and maybe I'll cross link that here too. So, hit play. And it's just basically the helicopter takes off and starts up. So there it goes. <laughs> this is spooling up just like a real helicopter would. Once it gets going, it's ready to take off. It's not the world's best animation, this is something really basic. And I did something similar to San Carrero a while back. A good while back now, I guess, but... Yeah, that's all it is. It's just a helicopter. And it's thing. But the throttle thing is nice, because you can actually throttle it up or down in your animation. There's probably even a better way to do it, because I know when... Uh, Maybe animating it is not such a big deal, but... Hold on. I'm in edit mode, so I don't know why. There. Because sometimes when you change the throttle, it, like... If you do a big change, it makes it really jumpy. I'm sure there's a way to, uh... Make it glide or adjust more smoothly with, uh... Changes in, uh, drivers, but... I don't know how to do that. Someone who knows scripting might be able to point me in the right direction. And there's one other thing about scripting. I was wondering about if anybody knows how to do it. Hold on a sec. I just want to select the piece that I have the driver attached to. Go to animation. Go to drivers. Yeah, is that this little expression box is so small? I was wondering if there was a way I could set up my script. I guess and what is it like text editing or scripting? There's a way to get the script out of here where we have more room to work with than in that little itty bitty text box. 
sure there's a way to do it somehow, but I don't know enough about the Python stuff yet, so. If anyone has some pointers there, that would be handy. Because when you get a, like, a long script in there, it does not want to fit in that box. <laughs> I mean, it fits in there, but you can't see the whole thing. So there's more to it than what you see here. But that's it. It's something simple. And I find that using uh, drivers to reference uh, other transforms and stuff seems to be faster than the modifier for some reason. I don't know why that is. I think the modifier is like looking at all the variables is where if you just do it with the driver you can just pick that specific one and it doesn't have to look through everything else. I think that's what it's doing. Yeah, it's faster with drivers. <laughs> yeah, like, what's he talking about? Well, you have to try it and you'll see what I mean. Let's go back to default. And basically, that's all I got. It's and this camera is set up to track. There's plenty of other stuff on that. So you can see that the throttle thing goes up. The rotor spins faster, and then everything's good. Yeah. Looks like it's slowing down, but it really isn't. It's just the frame rate, I'm gonna see. Alright. Here you go. Might put the script up where you want to get it, but... If anybody asks, I can make it available. It's nothing fancy like I said. Alright.